All right, Grand Rising, everyone. It is Shalanda, and I'm back. Um, so, or Shay Seeking again. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. So, again, just like to shed light on things for myself and other people. And so today we're looking at something that has been coming up in along the ways or through the grapevine um, about the raising of the debt ceiling. So again, they have what they, you know, when they're speaking in uh, legalese or in terms of laws and sometimes lies, right? Um, and then we're just looking at it from a spiritual aspect. So if you're not a spiritual, Someone that is tapped in or tuned into a certain frequency, uh, currency, or way of thinking and seeing, then this may not resonate with you, and that is fine. But for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear and can uh, use discernment, right, when navigating through all of this information, this tumult of information that is going on on this plane, again, in this parallel uh, universe um, at this potent at this point in time. Right. No. Have you ever had a feeling? of someone trying to use something that may already originally be for you because they are the key, the doorway to get to something of you. Let's just, let's make a scenario here. Let's say that something happened in your life where no matter how it happened, inherited, you know, it was something that was in some kind of trust or fun, something that was in your name or whatever. Let's just, let's just make believe that there's something like a, a piece of jewelry or a large amount of money or some land or something like that, that is, has been left to you in a sense, right? A title, a throne, a crown, something, you know, and we get, we're just talking in on the surface here on this channel all the time, but going, always trying to go a little bit deeper. <clears throat> and let's just say some people know that and they stage something right around you and people are that are close to you are involved um you start to see you know the, you know because you're an intuitive person you can see and this is kind of like the reason why people have always been kind of timid around you but kind of you know what i'm saying it, it always seemed like there's something else going on in the background that that somebody's not being honest completely honest with you about right now let's say that these people <laughs> try and use this thing as if, and, and it's something that you're already kind of like entitled to, you know, there might even, like when people do a will, right? Don't they put things in there that if this person does this or if this person does that, then, you know, th then they'll be able to get, you know, like olden days, okay? We're talking like, you know, stuff like that. Like this person can receive this after whatever, whatever, right? But could you imagine if everybody around you, including people that you don't even know, knew something about you? Nobody told you anything. But you have a contact, you have, you're in, in tune with or in contact with the higher source. So this means that still you have to do the work, you know, starting within, right? in order to get closer to that energy that is what one may call God. I can't help to be someone who has a gift that senses things. Sometimes it's things for me, sometimes it's a message again for others. But it's coming through me, so it's kind of like me talking about me. But actual, in all actuality, the message may just be coming through me. Although it may resonate with me, it may also resonate with someone else. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So, like I said, there feels like this has been this thing done. It, it's something you couldn't imagine. Something that you would have to just, at the end of the day... 
let them go and let it burn. Because uh, there's a lot of deceptive measures. And since you can read people really well and you can read energy and things like that, you can see right through what's going on. But they know that they have the legalities. They know that they have these other measures that you don't have. They know they, they have answers that you don't have. So again, it's best almost how when we were talking about the other day with these women, what I posted in the group, these women that their families chose for whatever reasons, it could be a difference in um, religion, uh, the, the wife could have a different thinking pattern than the husband. And these people took and admitted their family, mostly women, right? Um, to institutions. Now, if we're thinking about 1800s, even sometimes this was happening even earlier than that, right? So if you think about that, when we think about America being um, a, a matriarchal society and we talk about empresses, chiefesses, goddesses, and things like this, can you imagine <laughs> why many husbands and stuff were doing this particular type of thing? And it goes along with witch trials and witch hunts and everything as well. Women were very in tune. Something happened to rock you back to sleep. Or you took something or you got something or somebody gave you something to rock us back to sleep. And now we're coming through a time when we're awakening again. And it just so happens to be a man's world. Money happens to be the manipulator and the ruler over all things, even people's lives. So... You can see, I can see why they would have wanted to, you know, end, especially with the despair that's going on on this planet this day. Why if Jesus came talking some stuff like this, why they would have been like, he got to go. <laughs> she got to go. You know what I'm saying? How dare you say focus on yourself and that which is within when I'm out here trying to get this. And then people wonder, you know, how they go, you know. And again, I'm not saying anything about myself, you know, like I'm not saying I have less than and I'm not saying that I have more than anybody, but I'm here, I'm breathing, I'm not starving to death, you know what I'm saying? I'm making it. And again, it doesn't matter about all that stuff because I know that I feel I'm dealing with a pure heart. I'm cleansing it. And, and even if it's not 100% pure, right? Like nobody's really can be, I'm, I'm working on cleansing it every day, even when People have these tendencies to do these things like what we talked about with this card here. No, the tree. It's almost like a family curse or something that somebody is paying for. And they pick you to be the scapegoat. They pick you to be the chosen one, the black sheep. The black sheep. There's always been a sense of something about you that rubs everybody the wrong way or that made them not really want to be as close to you. I mean, you you try to, uh, at one point in time as a child, you would try to fit in, you know what I'm saying, and deal with these individuals on a certain level, right? Um, and... Uh, for some reason, even the, the other people that didn't like them and didn't do nice things and didn't bend over backwards for them were the ones that they would bend over backwards for. <laughs> and it's just like a whole energy. It's just a whole energy. It really is. And then one day you wake up and you figure out who you are. And then you say, damn. I kind of see why people could have been mad, but I didn't even know. I didn't even see that light in myself. And now that I notice it, I had to be humble in a sense about it, right? I had to be quiet about it because any way I try to express myself, right? You're being judged. Because A, some people are envious and jealous and everything their own selves. So again, and narcissistic and things their own self. And they can't believe that it's your turn to be yourself. So they try to do everything they can to make you feel bad about that. They can't see you finally possibly getting some recognition for something that that you may have done even if it's you giving it to yourself so again 
we have this card here. All right. I'm trying to do this underneath this thing here. All right. Let's see. Hold on. All right. So again, this is about rewrap. Y'all have to excuse my clothing rack back there. But you can be your own knight. You see what I'm saying? So again, every, you know, girl is kind of like waiting for her. Let's see. Knight, you know, in shining armor. But she's sitting there. She, you know, all pretty and, and pomped. <laughs> Pomp pompous <laughs> right but you know she has her okay she has her coat of arms or her shield here nothing's written on it yet you know what i'm saying so i'm kind of like create your own that's what everybody else did in the past that's how they got everything from the original people in the first place right they use a blank slate <clears throat> they just made sure that they were prepared to a certain extent and you weren't when it was time to, you know, right? They made sure things were manipulated to work out in their favor when it comes to the pen, right? But you sitting there with your sword, but the pen is mightier than the sword. That's why she turned to the side like, damn. Hmm. You see her lovely lady locks, you know, she got the bag. Oh, hold on, y'all. All right. She got the bag open on the bed, <laughs> half empty, I mean half open, right, half packed, right. I can't really tell if she putting the stuff in there or is she taking the stuff out. Kind of seemed like she taking the stuff out. Yeah, because she got this little cloth that she's shining. Look at this, she bad, hold on. <laughs> Ew, why is this camera? Look, y'all, I told y'all something about the camera quality on this thing that is just irritating. Maybe I need to just clean it. No, it's still the quality. I mean, this supposed to be a, a, a MacBook 2021. What's going on? Right? So, again, she got the little cloth there. She cleaning her sword. Right? Sitting there in the window. Clouds rolling by. But just, I mean, she's under like an arch or an arc. Hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of like she got this look on her face like, oh, really? Okay. All right. So I see I got to prepare then. I see. It's almost like even she just cleaning off some blood stain or something. Maybe it's some dust or some dirt. Hmm. Maybe it's some dust or dirt. Where's my book? Where's my little book? <laughs> Are you serious? Where did the little book go? I don't know, y'all. Oh, here it is. Look. Doing too much. All right. All right. Let's see what else is going on with her right now. Because I think this is very important. Very insightful anyways, for, for me at least, right now. Because, I, I mean, if I'm going through this kind of thing and this is something that's just like uh, beginning or ending, then I'm pretty sure some others are sensing this too. Okay, you may be in a desire, uh, I mean, in a dire situation you need escaping from. Rest assured you have the power within to preserve, uh, persevere. All right, y'all. You already know you don't need to be rescued by a charming prince. <laughs> or a chivalrous knight in shining armor. You've got your own shield and sword. A God and God's help. Yeah, I think that might be a in God's help anyone who thinks they yeah, I think that's a typo. It's just probably say, in God help. But it says, in God's help, anyone who thinks they can do a better job. So again, like I said, when it comes to this whole energy right here, like this is why I feel, because the only thing I feel like, again, I have working in my favor without going into too much details Right. Those are in tune already would know. It's almost like my sheep hear my voice. Right. 
even though I don't like to use that term. It's like my, my soul tribe, you know, they can hear, they can see things, right? The same way that these um, institutions and stuff like that have been uh, surveilling, I think Source does have a way to have some of us connected in time of need. Because they know, because because I feel like Elohim know that people are going to use physical military might and force, right? So again, to make it equal and to balance out things, to stretch the time out for a little bit longer, I think that's where we're talking about the splitting up of the tongues or divide, dividing of the speech. Because if they didn't do that, right? So again, as long as we know that the three, right? When it comes to the three antidotes are probably doing that, right? But then also, you know what I'm saying? Israel, you know, the three energies are doing the same naturally. And so it, I don't know, it goes a little bit deeper for me and I don't want to spend too, too much time on it, but I feel like whatever is being done is done. And if it wasn't done like that, so again, there's a time for like a, uh, a divisive energy when all else fails, but to lead nations through in civilizations through, um, decades, right. Of, this type of behavior to try to cause strife and division. You see what I'm saying? But it kind of brings back to a, a nation divided, right? It's going to fall. And so that brings back to the energy we were just talking about, about co creating a third world in energy within the Americas. And, and, and I feel like the people that's going to be jeopardized the most because other people have other places to go, right? There's no such thing as Africa, America, right? There's no such thing as black land. Right. So although everybody else possibly might have a place to go to. You don't. Right. So, again, even looking at this energy, you know, it's almost like she looking real cute. Like I know he watching, too, because you know what? It seemed like it is, you know, uh, possibly was supposed to be a knight in shining armor. And she said, hold on. Okay, so if that's how it is, you see how she looking to the side, then maybe I just had to go ahead and sit here. And I'm going to keep on waiting. I got my bag half packed, right? I got my I got my bag half packed. But you know what? I ain't going to be sitting here forever. <laughs> Seems like there's magic surrounding her. These little stars that are just dancing around. And you see how she got her legs even crossed? That's so funny to me. Like, all right now, I'm waiting. What's going on? She even looking kind of kind of like she about to look out the window. Where you at? But if he ain't coming then, let me go ahead and finish sharpening this sword. <laughs> you dig? All right. So again, it's like, you know, I may not, you may think I don't need you, but I, it ain't the fact that I did, it's the fact that I want it. Right? But she also looking like, I mean, but if, if, if that ain't the case, then go ahead. <laughs> this is how it is. I mean, I feel like that's what it looked like to me. All right. So again, we have the garden. Uh, something lovely will grow from this. Okay. So again, I'm seeing this in many different aspects here. <sighs> Y'all, this ain't working out too well. Okay. All right. So she just sitting there in the garden, you know. Kind of wish this, that's where I was at right now, but it's getting cold now. She got this white birch tree behind her, right? Got her little charm, her stones on. She got this little flower that, that's been planted. You know, she's been holding on to this for a long time. She's been protecting this with all her might. That single, see it's illuminated. She's been protecting this. She got a sword there ready in case some things go down. Right? She got it staked into the ground like this is my lot, right? <laughs> yeah. Looking real grounded here. Got her feet, you know, all in the dirt. Right? <clears throat> I think the imagery is so beautiful. I really do. Something lovely will grow from this. 
you know, because, you know, sometimes you feel like you just messing up, you know what I'm saying? Only because, you know, you, people be mad about your connection with source, right? But you feel like, dang, man, you know, it's like we've seen this in the Bible many times when people like, man, they ain't listening. God, what you want to send me over here? These people going to tear me apart. You keep having me coming over here talking to them. <laughs> right? But you see some of these roses in the background is dead. It's almost like that first shall be the last kind of energy that's coming to mind right now. These roses back here in the back, they dead. But you got some fresh new ones that's coming up around her. So they are like in the background. She got, I noticed she got the little bendy, is that what it's called, dot on her uh, forehead too, right? Hmm. All right. So again, regardless, something beautiful, because again, that's, that's what lets you know, that's that whole chosen energy. And it's not even to be cocky or nothing. It's to keep your head on straight when you're dealing with this world and society when it comes to these times. I mean, that's just how I'm looking at it. All right. And then how people want you to be. It's almost like everybody is coaching you on how to be. Then God then sent you here and told you exactly how he want to be. Matter of fact, he chose you because of who you was. They chose you. The ancestors, everybody chose you because of who you was. Imagine sitting here thinking about what everybody else saying and then turning yourself into that. Because hmm. some of us been fighting. We just been fighting to remain, to be ourselves and to move freely in our sovereign sovereignty, right? In our natural born right, all right? Okay, um, okay, so again, it says, ready or not, it's time for the next chapter in your life. Uh, do the thing you feel you most need to do in order to aid your healing, even if it feels selfish. You damn right. You see what I'm saying? These cars know what they're talking about because <laughs> you know what you're talking about. <laughs> and anybody coming around you that ain't telling you that, that want to manipulate or alter your perception. You can listen, but what you do with it is what you do. Sometimes it needs to be a little selfish. We were just talking about being selfish or selfless in order for it to work in the long run. Worry about focusing on you for now. And again, that's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, when you tell someone that's chosen to focus on themselves, it's just going to come off feeling, uh, sounding a lot more arrogant and narcissistic. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not none of these things. These are just terms that people have created recently and used them on a large scale to convince people that they shouldn't care about people that care about themselves. <laughs> but the whole time they're pushing narratives of how to take care of yourself better but until you start to see that you are better when it comes to healing, all right? I'm not talking about better than anybody. But when it comes to the healing, when you're getting better or you're improving, then the roles change. Oh, look at this. No, this is a little bit too much. Egotistical, this, this, and that. Prideful, these things. So they, 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 they're using the same tools that people use at one point in time to mentally enslave people that's the worst form of slavery and it happened to many of us it happened to again all of us <laughs> all right so again i think that's it for this video i'm have four more cards here that we pulled because i had all i had those four no this one was one of them too okay pulled out already okay but i'll, I'll save it for the next one and then you know what i'm saying i picked these three today because the they were on the deck at the bottom of the deck and something just told me to take all three of them so that's what we did okay so again <laughs> i'll be right back um like again you guys are just gonna get like the whole aspect of this i don't know why this one is speaking to me <laughs> maybe we'll have to take it out soon
it just called my name like that book did. So let's go, let's go ahead. And that's why I had to realize if somebody can't like take you for your you, then they never wanted to be with you. It was the idea of something about you or something else that you carried that they were after. And once they got it, then they left and they were gone. And But they want to find a reason to, you know what I'm saying, justify what they've done to you. And so again, they will try and make it seem like it's all about you or you made it all about you or something of that nature. And I have to say that I have no, you know, ill will towards anyone at this point in time. You know what I'm saying? If people have done me wrong, you know exactly what you did and everything will come to light. And I'm going to continue to love. And I maybe will look like a fool while I'm doing it. But I can't help myself. <laughs> 